That EV3 robot has been modified, which is this robot. We came with, it came with one color sensor, but we bought another one and we have two. Also, this is our robot. And this is a school robot. Um, also, the school robot is the naked robot or the base robot. The robots are very cool. On this robot, we used these rolly wheel things, these rolly wheel things. But before, we used this thing, this ball. We took the ball thing off because it kept getting stuck in the blind man vision. So we thought we could use this. And then we put a shield around. The rolly thing wasn't that much help. It sometimes turned like that, or this just mainly went straight unless you wanted it to turn. But not all robots can go straight. Actually, no robots can go straight. They always turn the tiniest bit. What uh, special about our, the, your robot? What else does it have? What other attachments? We have this gecko thing. We have a forklift with three drivers. One here, one here, and one hiding. We also have this basket thing to collect the food from the fridge. And we named it Blind Cold Poop. We have this cavator belt. The cavator belt is one of our most useful things because it gives us the most points. And lastly, we have an attachment on an attachment. This is a one-way door. This one-way door sits here like this. It sits here that. So, this is how it works. The pens, this texture can go here, it can go through, but it can't go there. So it catches the bee and the pig. This is what we use it for. Um, what other sensors are you using? Oh, we use touch sensors here mm. and here. This is what it looks like. But we extended it because um, you couldn't really, it couldn't really touch anything. Mm. Here is the touch sensor. Um, we also use a gyro, which is just there. And it's there, to somewhere, somewhere around there. Um, these robots are basically the same. If you just take off all the sensors, the square up thing and everything they would look completely the same if you take off this it will still look the same these are the exact same robots um our most reliable our most reliable um mission is the shark mission because every time we test it it always goes in so we get 30 points. A least reliable one, sadly, gives us the most points. This. And... Why is that? Because we put little foods in here, and if one food goes in the circle, it gives us 20 points. So that's 20, 30, wait, 20, 6, 20, 40, 60. Also, we have another um, another bit of food, so we get 80 points, and it doesn't take long to get just 20 points. This is our strategy. Our strategy is to do all the missions that are closest, that give us the most points, and not the missions that are really far away. And the missions that we can do, like... The blind man, we could easily do that. 
collecting the food from the fridge, we could do that. And the gecko, it sometimes works. Our least reliable one is this because it's really bad and we usually get at least four in or sometimes five. Once we got all six in, that was pretty cool. And we standardized this curvature belt by getting this in line with that. So it's like this. But if you do this, it's not standardized properly. So you have to do it up with the frame down there. And 